Hey Treasure Finders, I am back. I've had COVID for the past month and I don't recommend it. If you're thinking, hey, maybe I'll get some COVID, I wouldn't recommend it. It, it was really quite gnarly. But I'm back and in this video, I'm going to take you up north for a little long weekend in Leelanau County and other places. And this is part one of three, so stay tuned. I am headed up north for the weekend. I'm going to visit family in the Leelanau Peninsula. And of course, I'm gonna take this opportunity to do a little beach combing on my way up north. And I'm going to my secret spot. There is a crow that frequents this beach. And there's a gentleman who was telling me about this crow and the crow actually lands on his shoulder, lands on his head. So this crow sounds very interesting. And if this is probably something that I've never talked about on my channel is that I love crows. I think they're very mystical and magical and I feel just a deep connection with them. And the crow will actually swoop down and if he's picking up a piece of beach glass, the crow will swoop down and grab the glass and fly off with it. I, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to meet this crow. So the last time that I was here, I never did see the crow. This gentleman calls the crow Edgar, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of picking around today, but I will take you down there and we'll see what we can find today. So I was just talking about the crow and the strangest thing just happened. This couple just pulled into the parking lot here and they had this little box and they put something on the ledge of a fence over here. This little fence. And they're, they've been looking up in the sky and, and I'm wondering if they're feeding that crow. I was going to go over and ask him, but he got back in his car and I didn't want to be weird and, you know, stockish. But I'm just wondering if that's what they're doing, because what else would they be doing? Why would they be putting stuff up on the ledge? Yeah, I might be correct in that there's no rocks today. So I'll run down there and see. It is really cold. It's rainy. I have my full rain gear on but dang it's cold and luckily I have my action camera because it's raining I'm so dedicated you guys should see I look like a complete freak today there's quite a look huh very cold it's in the 40s today and windy so it feels even colder than that all right so I'll come back in a minute there's a few rocks on the beach looks like there's some piles up this way but not as many as last time. Found a brick. <laughs> Ceramic. Found a ball. Matches my boots. might be my only rock pile today. I see glass already though.
guys. I'm super excited. There's a crow here. A couple of them. Oh, I don't know which one's Edgar, but I got some snacks here. So he left some. Oh, see? He did. He left some french fries. And a painted rock. Wish! How cool! I wish that Edgar would come here. Tex Mix for him. That's so cool! Maybe he'll come if I walk away a little bit. So I'm going to show you my finds. When I get up north, I got the ball and the brick. And I'm going to take that brick out so it doesn't break the beach glass. But quite a lot of rocks, and I'll take them all out later, and glass. I didn't film picking them all up because, frankly, it's just too cold outside. So I'm going to show you the rest later. Right now I'm going to stick around just for a few minutes in case that crow comes back. I wanted to film this drive so you could see the amazing fall colors here in Michigan. But... Wow, I can't remember the last time that I saw colors like these. There's a little scenic overlook up here I'm going to check out because it's just absolutely the most stunning day today. It's absolutely beautiful. This is Arcadia, and Arcadia sits up on the, on the hills, so we'll go check out this overlook. is why we moved to Michigan. Such a stunning day here. I'm on M22 driving north and the sky is clearing and it's the colors are just unbelievable. It's absolutely the best time of the year. The air is crisp, the sky is so bright and beautiful and the temperature is comfortable. The bugs have pretty much gone dormant. This is what it's all about. Just thought we'd make a quick stop on my way up. I'm gonna check out Point Betsy Lighthouse. Great rock hunting usually here. This lighthouse has never been open ever since I used to live here and visited. It's never been open, but it's a beautiful spot just to check out the beach, walk the beach. You can walk around the lighthouse, but you can't actually go in it. I don't know if it's privately owned or what, but it's never, it's never open. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that.
This is definitely a Michigan moment here. It's hard to uh, go anywhere in Michigan without having to stop for turkeys. And they don't really move that fast, so. <laughs> so used to that. Sleeping Bear Dunes, National Lakeshore. My favorite place to be. I'm in the final stretch of my road trip up north, and I'm finally up in Leelanau. These were all the roads that I traveled on every day when we lived here for 15 years. So it's really wonderful being back in this area. I just love it so much. And I hope that you enjoyed this little color tour. I wasn't expecting to take so much video of color, but it's just been so amazing up here. And we're about to enter the little town of Leland, which is where we raised our kids and where we owned a winery and lived here for 15 years. Tomorrow I'm going to go beachcomb at Vance Beach, which is right down here in Leland. And there's usually great stones to find Petoskey stones and other kinds of stones and Leland blue stones. And I usually always find a little handful of beach glass. If you blink, you might miss Leland, so don't blink right now. This was our little town that we lived in right here. And it has one intersection and that's it. And then you're out. <laughs> Here's the home stretch. Staying at my sister's farm this weekend. And this is the historical property that I get to metal detect as well. Straight ahead. So this is going to be a whirlwind weekend of fun. There's Shima. Shima and Marley and Lucy. There they all are. Hey everybody! Hey treasure finders. This is my first wrap up video from my first day beachcombing up in Leelanau County. It's a little bit bright in this spot. I just wanted to show you real quick. This was from my secret spot and also from Point Betsy Lighthouse. I found this really cool brick which I'm going to use as a door stopper. I found a, <laughs> a ball. You know I like to find the toys. I did find a dollar on the beach at Point Betsy and I found this really cute heart-shaped rock at Point Betsy as well. Just I'll kind of zoom in a little bit closer because I know it's hard to see because it's blown out a little bit but just some cool stones, uh, some fossils. This one I think is called a lightning stone. If anybody knows about these please let me know I'm new to these but I think this is what it's called. I don't know why they're called that or what they even are but let me know if you're if you know about lightning stones. These are just some black flat rocks that I don't know why I picked those up. I just like them. Plenty of beach glass at my favorite spot. This is a really nice chunk here, but real good polished stuff. This one isn't so much, but the rest of it is. Some ceramic pieces. I think these are stone, but they're either stone or ceramic. I'm not exactly sure. This is some brick as well. And then I did get a little bit of driftwood. I thought that was kind of a cool piece. And then this actually has some pink in it. I'm not sure why, but I thought that was neat. And then this, just this big stone. But that was my haul for my first day up here. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next video, which will be my second day of beachcombing up here and I will see you on the beach somewhere.